What's going on gamers? Today we're going over how to join a CSGO server. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell in order to stay updated on all of our future videos. CSGO is a lot of fun, and despite being around for a long time, it's got a lot of servers. In fact, whenever you're playing on these multiplayer servers, you can see there's always a long list of countless server names. Well, whether or not you want to join from our Apex panel, or just join a regular server, today we're going over how to cover all those options. To get the Steam game token, the first thing you're going to want to do is head to steamcommunity.com slash dev slash manage game servers. Once you've entered that into your type bar, you're going to go ahead and be taken to this page, and what you're going to need to do is log in in the top right corner. Once you've logged in with your Steam account, and to your sign in and your password, you'll be taken to the same page, but at the bottom you'll see this. In the app ID section, what you're going to want to do is type in 730 for CSGO. In the bar below that, you're going to type in CSGO, just basically as a nickname to help you keep track of what you're doing. You're going to click create, and once the number generator comes up, you'll see the login token. What you're going to do is copy and paste that login token, and once you've done that, you're going to head to your Apex panel. So, Control c that and move over to your Apex panel. From here, you're going to want to upload the token. So, when you're on your server that is the CSGO list, you're going to head to the left-hand side and click on Customizations. It's right beneath Audit. From here, you're going to scroll down to where you see the Other tab, and in the Steam account token, you're going to paste in that Steam token that we previously got. When obtaining the IP, what you're first going to want to do is head to your Apex panel and scroll down to where you see the IP address colon port. This is something that you can copy and paste either by doing Control C or just clicking the pages next to the number. Once you've copied it, what you're going to want to do from here is open up CSGO. So once you're there, you're going to go to the left hand side where you see the settings tab, the gear on the left, and you're going to select that one and you're going to want to go into the games settings. From here, you'll see in the middle there an enable developer console with the tilde button in parentheses. You're going to want to switch this from no to yes. From here, you're going to go back into the main page and click the tilde button in order to open up your panel. Then you're going to type in connect and then spacebar and then you'll put in the IP address that you previously posted and you'll be good to go. To connect through Steam, you're first going to want to head to your Steam page and in the top left you're going to click on view and then servers. From here, you're going to be greeted with a big long list of many servers, but you're going to click the favorites button up at the top. Next, you're going to click add a server on the bottom right. From here, you're going to type in the IP address or paste it like we've had, and then you can click add to favorites. Once you're back in game, you're going to click the play button, and in the top left, you'll click the drop down bar that will switch you to community server browser. If this is your first time clicking this, you'll see this note, but just hit OK. From here, you can go to the Favorites tab and you'll see your server located right at the top. Then you'll be good to go. Now let's cover some common issues. The first one that you may see is that your server is not appearing. If this is the case, it's possible that you put in the wrong IP address or you're not searching through Community Server Browser. It's an easy fix. Next, the server is blank. In this case, it's likely that you just Put the IP address incorrectly in the connect section. Well gamers, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If you've never connected to a server or even a CSGO server before, it could be potentially scary, but hopefully you can figure it out from here now. Well, that'll just about do it. As always gamers, I hope that you have lots of fun.
Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.